Um, so dating myself a little bit, I don't know if you've seen the movie, The Princess Bride. Uh, this gentleman here, uh, Mr. Inigo Montoya, is a villain that turned into a hero. And when he was a villain, um, his, his evil villain boss uh, kept using the word incorrectly, uh, inconceivable. And the famous line is this, you keep using that word, I do not think it means what you think it means. The same applies to Agile. Um, so Agile is often misused by executive leadership and others. But really one of the things that we see is um, this, these declarative statements like Agile is only for IT and engineering. Well, it's actually not true. Um, as, consulting, as a consulting firm implemented Agile for marketing teams, implemented Agile for HR teams. So there's a lot of ways you can implement Agile principles um, outside of IT and engineering. I'll also say that you can potentially use Agile for things like um, uh, writing a book, uh, producing a movie, producing news uh, pr production of news to your audience. All these things you can leverage Agile in order to get that out there to your customers faster. Another one is Agile means I could still manage the teams the way I used to and more will get done faster. I'm sure many of you have heard that before. And uh, there's this concept of Taylorism. I won't bore you with all the, the bulleted details of it, but basically what it means is micromanaging. And the reason that, that it, management typically thinks that way is because they believe Agile is just a process or a framework. Anybody could study the framework. Um, being agile doesn't necessarily mean you got you get a lot of people certified. Being agile means we have a changed mindset from the top down. So this is a great definition. Um, we're in Atlassian shop, so it came from their reference, but I, I really do like it. And we're going to take it in just a few different uh, you know chunks here. The first part: agile is an iterative approach to project management and software development that helps deliver value to customers faster with fewer headaches. Okay, pretty simple, straightforward. The one I really like here is the one in the middle though. Instead of betting everything on a big bang launch, which we know is waterfall, right? Um, an agile team delivers work in small but consumable increments. Now think about that. Think about the plan do, plan do check act. We're talking about small batch sizes. We're delivering and working on small batch sizes at a time so we can learn faster and we can respond to change, which, which um, amazingly says in the next sentence, requirements, plans, and results are evaluated continuously so teams have a natural mechanism for responding to change quickly. So really good reference um, statement. I think it really defines Agile quite well. Which leads us to the Agile Manifesto. Um, so four, four quick statements here. And what I want to get out of this, what I want you to get out of this uh, is, is actually that the stuff on the right of the word over on each statement, we're, we're never saying that that's not important but we're saying that the stuff on the left is more important. For example, processes and tools, super important. It's important to have processes. It's important to have tools to automate those processes. But what we're saying is that the individuals and the interactions are more important than those processes and tools, those communications, those collaborations. Working our comprehensive documentation. Um, it's important to have architecture. It's important to have um, uh, requirements documentation and things like that, meeting notes, all those things. However, if your software is not working, really doesn't matter. And the idea here is we want to get working software out to the customer as quickly as we can, as small, even as small of increments and batches as we as, as we can that provide value, so that we can continue we can continue to get that feedback. All right. Contract negotiation. It's important. It's, I mean, in my, in our world, uh, we're we're a consulting firm. We deal with contracts all the time, and they are important. It's important to understand the scope of what your clients need, but customer collaboration. If I don't understand, if I'm not talking to my customer and I don't understand what my customer needs, really, it doesn't matter. Following a plan. It's really important to have a plan, but being able, but, but um, addressing that plan and checking in on that plan so that you can respond to change is more important. We feel 